Warmest greetings to all my incredible subscribers and new viewers alike. Thank you for choosing our video on Jinguni Flusen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Jinguni Flusen, born 10 April 1989, is an Icelandic professional footballer who plays as a centre back for Hammarby IF in Allsvenskan. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at Fram. Jin started playing football at the Ejer Alkshifn Youth Academy. In 2007, aged 18, he joined Fram in the Aval styled Island's first tier. In 2010, he had trials with both Bayern Munich and PSV Eindhoven. Brace yourself for an in-depth analysis as we navigate through Bershit and its far-reaching implications. On 6 June 2011, Jin moved to Bershit in the Belgian Pro League. Following the season, after being given limited playing time, he was allowed to leave on a free transfer. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of GIF Sons Vol. On 24 August 2012, Jin signed a three and a half year contract with GIF Sons Vol in Olsvenskan, competing with Marcus Danielson and Stefan Alander for one of the two centre back positions. The club was relegated from Sweden's first tier the same year, through a playoff loss against Halmstad's BK. In 2013, Sundsvall finished third in Super Eten, as Jin only made 10 league appearances due to injuries, but lost once again to Halmstad's BK in the promotion playoffs. In 2014, Jin established himself as a key player for GIF Sundsvall, being named Player of the Year by the Medalpad Football Association, as the club won a promotion through finishing second in the Subretan table. In 2015, Jin made 29 league appearances in Olsvenskan, scoring once, as the club finished 12th in the table. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding IF Kenorping and gain a fresh perspective. On 1 December 2015, Jin moved to IF Kenorping on a free transfer, signing a three-year deal. He became the club's first new signing after winning the 2015 Olvenskan. In 2016, Jin began the season as a starter, making 16 appearances as the club finished third in the table, before getting injured in September and being ruled out for the rest of the season. In 2017, IFK Norking reached the final of Svenska Kupen, the main domestic cup, but lost against Distersen's FK. During the summer transfer window, Fjolesen reportedly attracted interest from Turkish club Kinyaspa, but IFK Norping declined an offer of 5 million Swedish kroner. IFK Norping finished 6th in the Allsvenskan table and Jin ended the season by playing all 30 league games. In January 2018, Belgian club Zolt Warijam put in a new offer worth 5 million Swedish kroner for Jin, but it was once again declined by IFK Norping. He continued as a starter, making 13 Olsvenskan appearances before leaving in the summer transfer window with six months left on his contract. In the next phase, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of Krasnodar and exploring its real-world applications. On 10 August 2018, Jin transferred to FC Krasnodar in the Russian Premier League, signing a three-year deal. He saw his playing time limited at Krasnodar, and on 22 July 2020, manager Murad Musaid announced that he would leave the club by mutual consent. Brace yourself for a captivating discussion on Bran as we explore its nuances and implications. On 22 September 2020, Jin joined SK Bran in the Elite Serene, on a deal until the end of the year. He made 11 league appearances for the side and helped the club out of the relegation battle. SK Bran eventually finished 10th in the table. Welcome to the next segment, where we explore Hammerby IF and its significance in our journey. On 16 January 2021, Jin signed a three-year contract with Hammerby IF, thus returning to the Swedish Olsvenskan. On 30 May 2021, he won the Svenska Kupen, the main domestic cup, with the club through a win on penalties after full time against BK Hockin in the final. 
he featured in all six games as the side reached the play-off round of the UEFA Europa Conference League after eliminating Meriba on aggregate and FK Ukariki on aggregate, where the club was knocked out by Bozel on aggregate after a penalty shootout, although Jin scored a brace in the second leg at home. On 3 October, in a away loss against his former club by FK Norking, Jin suffered a cruciate ligament injury expected to keep him sideline until the summer of 2022. On 22 July 2022, it was announced that Jin would not return to the field until 2023, due to a setback in his rehabilitation. In early 2023, however, it was confirmed that Jin would remain sidelined for the rest of the year. On 12 November 2023, it was announced that Jin would leave the club at the end of the year following the expiration of his contract. In the following section, we'll be immersing ourselves in the captivating world of international career. Jin played at the China Cup 2017, where Iceland won silver medals. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore club through a fresh lens, unlocking new perspectives. Club season League Cup are the total division apps goals apps goals at Fram 2009 of Al 17 5 0 20 10 17 5 2 0 0 20 11 8 0 2 0 0 total 40 2 10 4 0 for Bechet Belgian Pro League 4 0 0 total 4 0 0 0 0 GIF Suns Fall 2012 Al Svenskan 6 0 0 20 13 Super 10 10 0 2 0 20 14 20 29130002015 Alsvenskan 29100 total 7425030 Nopping 2016 Alsvenskan 16142017 total 59312026 Krasnita Russian Premier League 60310106 total 16048 St Brand 2020 Elite Serene El 1100 total 11000 Hammerby IF 2021 Olsvenskan 2116 2022 000 2023 total 211606 career total 227 16 31 227 Appearances and goals by club, season and competition Brace yourself for a captivating discussion on international goals as we explore its nuances and implications. Scores and results list Islam's goal tally first. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of club and explore its various aspects. Hammerby Svenska Kupen. Thanks for being a part of this amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you more exciting content.